In this video, we will be exploring how to use credit card authorization. So creating forms in Travify, you can include credit card and e-signature authorizations. And Travify is end-to-end -end PCI compliance, so this is completely safe and secure. Now, before you're able to start using the credit card authorization options, you do need to turn on two-factor authentication in your account. Here's how you do that. When you first log in, you'll see your name in the top right-hand corner. Click on that and then choose account from the drop-down menu. From here, you want to choose security on the left-hand side, and then you can go ahead and set up two-factor authentication. This is going to go through your phone. So you can set up with your phone number and you'll receive a text and you can then put the numbers that you receive in the text just to confirm that it is you. So it's another layer of password protection. And we do have to have that because of the PCI compliance. Now, once you have that set up, you'll want to create a form. In the forms, you just want to go into your library. So click on the library on the top of your dashboard. Once you get in here, this is where you can create a new form. So to do that, just click new library item on the left hand side. From here, you want to choose form from the drop down menu. You can go ahead and give it a title. And then you can give it a label if you want. And then from here, you can either click add new and choose question. Or we also do have templates available, including the credit card authorization. Now, if you create a form on your own, you'll just want to click the add new button and choose question. From here, you can type in your question. And then in this drop down menu, you're going to see the option of card authorization. Now, once you have that, click on that option and you will then be able to say, yes, this is required and choose if you want to collect the CVV. From here, once your form is ready, what you'll need to do is you'll want to send it directly to your client. Now, to first give a preview of what it looks like, you can always click the preview button at the top. And this will show you what it looks like. And here's what it looks like. So you can click add payment method and your client will be able to quickly and very easily put in their card information right there. And then they'll send it back to you. Now, when you're sending it, there's two different ways you can send it to a client. You can always just go directly into the form like I am right now. Click share at the top. And then from here, you will want to click email. So you can email this to them. Now, currently, you do need to email this directly to them, again, due to the security. So you can just go ahead and type in their email in here. You can include a custom message. You will need to include the authorization description and the authorization amount, and then choose what the deadline of this will be as well. Once you have that information, you can send the form directly to them and they'll receive it via an email and they'll be able to click a link to enter their payment information. Now, once they do fill that out, they will receive a PDF copy of what they filled out to themselves and you will get notified that the form was filled out as well. So when you're ready to access this information, all you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go into their contact profile so you'll click on contacts at the top of your dashboard, click on their contact, and then click on forms. This is going to know that this form is going to this person. So every time I need the credit card authorization from John Doe, I can then click under the forms that this person has filled out, click view responses, and then right here, I can click this view details button. And this is going to give me the information and I can click to view the card number. Now, if I'm done with this information, I can also choose to go ahead and delete it. Otherwise, it's going to delete on its own on February 27th because that was the authorization deadline that I have chosen. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out more of our Getting Started videos.